Hi, my name is Bryony and I work for the Yorkshire Building Society. Today we're going to be learning all about money. We're going to learn the difference between the things that we want to spend money on and the things that we need to spend money on. Follow me inside and we'll learn more. Most things in life cost money, even the things that we can't see. For example, the heat that heats our home or the petrol that we put in our cars to make them go. As well as spending money on the things that we need, we also spend money on things that we want. We're now going to do a short activity and have a look at a few items around my home. We can then work out whether these are things that I want or whether they're things that I need. Here we are in my living room. The first item that we're going to look at is this light. The light is powered by electricity. We pay for electricity to power all kinds of things within our home, from the lights that we use to our fridge and our oven. Do you think that electricity is something that we want to pay for or something that we need to pay for? That's right, electricity is something that we need. Without electricity, we wouldn't be able to switch our lights on, charge our phones or use anything else within the home that is powered by electricity. Another item in my living room is my iPad. I'm sure many of you may have an iPad or a console of some description, maybe a PlayStation or a Nintendo. Do you think a iPad or a games console is something that we want or something that we need? Yes, that's right. A games console or an iPad is something that we want. Although playing games is really fun, it's not something that we need to live. A PlayStation, an iPad or any other games console is something that we want. We are now in my kitchen and the first item that we're going to look at is my oven. Do you think the oven is something that we need or something that we want? That's right, the oven is something that we need. Without the oven, we wouldn't be able to make any food. The oven is also powered by electricity, which we discussed earlier when we was in my living room. The second item that we're gonna look at in my kitchen is the running water. Do you think that water is something that we need to pay for or something that we want to pay for? That's right, water is something that we need to pay for. Without paying for water, we wouldn't be able to run our taps, have a bath or take a shower. Now that we've had a look round my house, please take a look round your own. Walk around your house with a grown up and have a look at the things that you and your family spend money on. Try to find out whether these are things that you want or things that you need. Please make a list of wants and needs. You can pause the video whilst you are doing this. Now I would like you to think of five things that you would really want. Here is an example of some of the things that I've written down. Chocolate, a holiday, a new nail varnish and a lovely new necklace. Now I would like you to have a go at writing a list of five things that you would really want. You can pause the video whilst you are doing this. Now have a look at the list of the things that you want. If you only had enough money to buy one of these, which would it be? If your family was to buy everything that you wanted, they may not have enough money to buy the things that you need. Learning the difference between the things that you want and the things that you need can help your family save money. Making sure that you have enough money for the things that you need is called budgeting. That will then enable you to work out how much money you have left for the things that you want. Lots of families use budgeting to work out how much money they can spend every month. Why don't you ask your family if they use a budget? You can pause the video whilst you do this.
We hope that you've enjoyed the session about wants and needs and the activities that we've done today. Maybe next time the grown-ups that you live with go shopping, you can help them with their budget to make sure that you've got enough money for the things that you need before buying the things that you want. As a thank you for completing today's session, we would really like to send you a certificate. So please ask the grown-up that you live with to either email the email address below or click on the link below and we will return a certificate straight to you on the topic that you have completed today. If you have enjoyed today's session and would like to find out more about keeping money safe, please visit the Yorkshire Building Society website. Thank you for taking part today. Goodbye.